Right. <clears throat> Good morning, good morning, welcome to this video, untitled at the moment, I've just clicked my neck and missed that audio on camera. <laughs> so, today may be disastrous. I say disastrous because last night I had an amazing Indians and I've already been to the toilet twice today and Britt wants to go to Kiel the Water, which is about 40 miles away, I think, with a dog, obviously. Um, I'm fearing the car journey, um, but kind of selling Brit's car tonight so it's kind of Brit's last car <laughs> journey so oh, I'm, that was my arm my neck went before off camera I don't know I've got a few ideas for the day involving lake house if I find some water I'm guessing I will see some water I don't think I've ever been to kill the water but I'm just I'm literally going to take spare on the pants and some toilet paper I'm not lying about this so you've just remembered that you put your Bluetooth camera connection in your bag they bought in New Zealand two years ago. Not two years ago. Don't say two because that upsets us. Well, it nearly is two. I don't want it to be nearly two though. Well, it is nearly two. <laughs> I know it is, but it's upsetting. It's going to be a hot day today, mate. It is. Like, you look like you want to go anywhere. <laughs> eh? Stop sniffing your butt all the time. Is that the camera? Hi camera. How are you doing? Come on, we'll get you in the car. Before I go, I better do some DIY so it's dry when I get back. Let's check out the August unboxing if you want to see what happened to the fridge. Brilliant. Well done, Abraham. Go down the back of the fridge, wouldn't it? Yeah, baby, yeah. A million to fucking do. So, um, I believe the otters of Kielda are out of the question. We've decided that because of the time it will take us to get there and then get back, we might be risking it for a biscuit to get back to get Brit's car sorted out because we've got an appointment to sell Brit's car at 6 o'clock. So, we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure. So, we're still going to film, still going to vlog, um, probably still going to shit myself at some point. Alright. But, yeah. Feed the fish. Feed the fish. Middle of Chopwell Woods. The man formerly known as Mr. Jack. That is so mud at me, please. So I have been to Chopwell Woods uh, years ago. Me and Jack filmed a BMX commercial down there years ago. Oh, we're in the woods. We're in the woods. We're in the woods, 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 woods. Yeah, pink eye. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck that Max! Like, Fuck that mud in your eye on your a sponge. <laughs> See when he said, oh let's go film in the woods. I expect to be walking miles. Crying. Are you crying? Aye. Why? Because we fucking got fucking goggling sponge in the eye. We walked up that way. Came that way, down that way, now open that way. The car's over that way. <laughs> you fucking jackass. Me chop a watch. Come on, me bike. You gotta drink me bike, I love me bike. <laughs> so, Brit sat now has taken us the long way, even though I am a local boy, I know where I'm going. You've been the other side of the world with me, which was terrifying because I knew where I was going then, didn't you? Oh, that was weird, yeah. Do we need a sat nav? No, I know where I'm going. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I went to see the legend that is Cav play and at Little Buildings, and I got a fucking bus lane ticket for driving through the bus lane because of Brit's sat nav. All the time. So there's sat navs getting it out to get us. Conspiracy, Skynet. At least I'm not driving today anyway. And Hira hasn't been sick yet. <laughs> Hira, are you okay down there? Oh, lovely. 
absolutely lovely. It's just a bit of phlegm. Hira gets car sick. Maybe it's because Hira's from Romania and got transported over in a cargo crate. Not by us. Squirrel. You can just hear the electricity. Electricity. Can you? But it's like. Straight out the car, straight in the poo. We just got into the woods till we realised that there isn't a bin anywhere near. I said to Britta, says, just put it in the car. Like whoever gets the car tonight, whoever purchased the car, can have the poo. I know. So anyway, hi, we're over here. So there's quite a few trails. Badgers. If I seen a badger today, I would probably freak the vicious little bastards. But yeah. Should we let a calf somewhere around? The forest classroom now. I don't know which trail we're gonna follow. Probably the one with the choo-choo track. That's the one we started to walk down before before we turned around. But yeah. So we're here, we've arrived. It's about 20 minutes from home. Um but yes, it's just so vast. Oh another one! <laughs> so you've just seen a clip from Brit vlog she's vlogging as well and as you've just seen we've just got back into the woods and Hira's had another shit so we don't have to put that up well we do it says clean up after your dog there's a big sign as you walked in oh was there so yeah pick the poo just think of it as like uh, one of them coin machines where you're grabbing pick the poo up pick the poo up oh my god at least it's solid that's what you get for licking the Indian tray last night, isn't it? <laughs> Aye, but we're all suffering after that Indians last night. Dad's carrying that one. Oh, can we not go back to the car again? You realise the heat shining on my car, plus poo, the car is going to be lifting. Plus you don't have a car in six hours, you're giving it away. Hello. Imagine Hello. that though. Hmm, tick on the sheet, smells of shit. Hello. Um, if you're watching me on boxing video, for August, um, you'll probably see that I picked up The Edge two weeks ago. I've got it on VHS, but I don't have it on DVD. Anthony Hopkins and uh, Alec Baldwin. Um, survival in the woods. I've tried watching four nights, and I keep falling asleep. The bear turns up, Bart the bear turns up, and yep, fell asleep. Um, then films where, you know, oh, let's have a nice walk in the woods, but you've got to respect nature. Just look at, like, the grey, look at first blood, the kind of films where no your surroundings. Obviously the exists as well. Like I'm not gonna get Bigfoot over here unfortunately, but we might get a black cat. Mm-hmm. Nice clear on that. So Brit's vlogging. Um I believe that for the Love of 80s movies made the mistake by filming at Alan's Ford. This is total first blood country. And I'm blaming him for picking the wrong location. I actually filmed a first blood review at Allensford but it was on the tail end of filming someone else. I was in the middle of the woods but some of like the bracken and scenery just feels like first blood territory. Like, whoop. Isn't that right Hira? Hmm? What do you mean it's fine? She's just rubbed herself in horse shit. Now you smell like horse shit yeah. Look at her. Now just don't eat the horse shit. So is it, like, is it like, yeah, you've got to pick your dog shit up, but you have to pick your horse shit up? Apparently not. Get off the horse shit. You're not being one of them dogs, you've got more cast than that. Get off, get off Castro, for fuck's sake. Oh, it's your car. I mean, it'll be mint if you snored. I mean, how the fuck do you even get to that house? Hey, you fucking meant with it snored, getting out. If I needed the poo, that would be perfect. I don't need a poo, I actually need a wee. Need a wee. You know, I just need a wee. Hira, wait. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Good there you go, you can hear the electrical wires. See, I've got my own built-in compass. I know exactly where I am. So I think me and Hira both know, and that right, Hira, we're turning to, to be walking off the lead. We both know when to wait when Brittany starts taking a bloody picture. So, normally, Chopwell Woods, around 
October, November, December, you can come and buy a real Christmas tree. And these look like mini Christmas trees. Oh my God. Hi, Ra, come on. You just don't really get so up close to these quite often. It's like back being in New Zealand with them fucking, what do you call them? Cicadas. Zzz, all day, every day. Hello. We're back at the start of the trail. Britt wants to find the big hands in the woods, which just happens to be on the longest trail. So we don't even know if we're on the right trail, but obviously we're on a time. So we didn't get the keel there, but this is, you know, it's a lush day. We couldn't ask for a better day. And yeah, Britt's about to vlog as well. So separate video. Did it did it did it did it did Just waiting for a picture. Did it did it did Did you see that? There was just a wasp just hovering above my head. I thought it was a drone. Just another thing for the edge before I forget. Um Jerry Goldsmith does the music, so it's a first blood reference there, so it's got that kind of Ambience he's quite good at with his trumpets. He likes, likes a few trumpets. So we haven't found the hand yet, but we found Batfink. He's in the woods. So yeah, we might be on the right trail now. Uh, we took a detour, we ended up in the road. Didn't vlog that bit because it's just still like, oh, a road. Hyra's just like, hurry up, man. But yeah. By the way, make sure you check out Brit's solo vlog. She's getting ready to vlog as well. And I'm off. Dun, 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 the hands. What was it called? The Glideth. The Glideth? Tales from the uh, Dark Side I was watching the other night and they were telling the Christmas story about the Glideth. Don't talk about the Glideth. And then these hands just come through and snap the heads. What size are them hands? But yeah. Dun dun dun. You remember this morning when she found the clicker thing? Coming in handy now for this picture. Of on their arms. So me and Hyra's just getting used to waiting. Waiting, keep me waiting. Well, no shit, Sherlock. It's been in your bag <laughs> two years. <laughs> oh, it actually, oh, hang on. It's actually had a. Um, it's actually been powered on since we got back from New Zealand as well, so it's definitely not got no battery life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Need to air the car out. The heat, the poo. Jesus Christ! I mean, it's not like you're selling the car to a Brit or anything. Bobs. No! Just driving to see my stepdad Morris to tune up a Brit's car and Brit's decided she wants to drive to Brighton. Not the fact that she wants to drive to Brighton, the fact that she's not going to have a fucking car to drive to Brighton. He's talking like I'm on about driving to Brighton like now or tomorrow and I'm not. I'm just being in the future. I remember when Barney was like, oh do you want to come with us to pick up uh, my brother's kids? <laughs> And um, I was like, I can do. And then I realised where he was picking them up to when I fucking tried everything to get out of it. I got out of it. He was going to drive there and back in the same day, bearing in mind one of Barney's jobs as being a long distance driver, so he, he, he can go on autopilot. Um, Devon, I was like, nah. Stepdad can fix anything. My dad goes rally cars to New Zealand. When it comes to cars, me, <laughs> no idea. Might be a chamber down the brains that if it shook loose, might be a car wizard, but no. So, I just dropped higher off because it's too hot um, and just came to have a look at a few cars before the next stop. Unfortunately, no cars at this car house um, for Brit wants a transit van. Hmm. This hill, me and Brit decided to go on a walk the other day and we walked for miles. Well, it's like thought it was going to be a short walk, then we just kept on going and going and going. And we ended up at Castleside, and it's quite a big walk all the way down Allensford, along, up around the hill, through the woods, through the parish wood, past a pig farm. But we were just out for a walk, mainly for Hyra, and get some steps in for the day, and then we had to walk all the way down this big hill. Like, the hill was still going down, and I didn't even start recording at the top of the hill. Um, so that's the kind of hill we went up to, where the quarry is. Um, but yeah, this camera is slowly disintegrating in my hand. But you know, until it's broke, we've got to keep rolling. I'll film so that's what's going to happen, right? I'm going to film some mint and it'll be digitally down, it'll digitally distorted, it'll be fucked, it'll be fucking, there you go, hit off its car, bang, you know. But yeah, just pay attention.
attention to the road, I to am. joining road, I'm rather than going apeshit about fucking Christmas trees. Christmas trees. So, the petrol lights just come on. Um, we've had to take a day to it because the main road to the reservoir was closed. So we're having to come on the back end of it. So it's a good job Hyra wasn't still in the back being sick, bless her. But, yeah. North Pennines, here we are. Wait till she comes. She's not happy. The boat chat is, boat jack is uh, closed on a Tuesday. I mean, you could have checked before we drove. Yeah, is that right here? I'm gonna say she have one job. She been fuck off. Move. Right, got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're such a dirty bastard, honestly. <laughs> it didn't even take a photo of us. Well, I stood in front of my pants down. So, we're approximately 10, 15 miles away from the woodland walk, and I'm still carrying the shit from Chopwall because Chopwall don't have bins. So, I've spotted a bin over here. I've just went like that, not my eyes, but I've got sunglasses on, so yeah, high from the smell. When I talk about Brittany buying a van, that's kind of what Brittany's wanting to buy. I'm like, where the fuck are you going to put that? And I'm like, how are you going to commute in that? Answers on a postcard, please send them in. On another note, as I walk back the car, Crazy Golf is shut as well as the boat shack, so it's a proper disappointment. There's loads of people turning up and going away. But the main reason we came here was for the lake house, which is a completely separate video. So if you see the lake house mentioned, um, make sure you check it out. I don't know if it's a review ran random or was it worth buying video, but purposely came up to hit day here for the lake house, which is all done and filmed. So yeah, I'm gonna park the car here, but I'm getting there. See that uh, road close sign? It's not close, the road. Everyone's just driving through. Angry truck driver, angry truck driver, angry truck driver, driving down the road. Don't believe in dash cam. I mean, it's great for insurance and stuff like that. Like, can you believe what happened? No, well, how did you end up on the other side in the tree on the other side of your car? Well, okay, so that is why dash cam is handy. But I don't, like, when I had a dash cam, it was kind of like, you see people looking for crashes, looking to antagonize, looking to inflict like frustration on somebody else and make mistakes. Yeah, you know what I mean? So like you just like no it's not good. It's like Brit the other week was like, oh type in um northeast dash cams and stuff like that. And it was just one guy on a mission. He was constantly looking like Brit was like, well what's this start? And I was like, it's one person, it's not a collage, it's just one person going out there looking for trouble in a car. So yeah. Uh, but that's just going back my truck driver there probably be on his dash cam do you know what I mean it's like you've got 18 wheelers mess you know what I mean we've got four it's like this guy coming up here I own the road <laughs> well you don't have right of fucking way oh for a start God. they don't have right of way both of them have both done of it them, it's like well should we wait our turn no and see you know what I mean and here comes a bus you know in the northeast now you can wait that's that bus from this morning for fuck's sake man that's the second time we've seen that bus and they're just like, got right of way. The roads are not as big as they are in New Zealand and stuff like that. They're not in like America, you know what I mean? The small roads. So that's that right out the window. Do the speed limit, do the speed limit, do the speed limit, follow the rules. We're now at Tesco's, waiting in line for the vacuum cleaner. Waiting. Well, well wait, what did you just fucking ask me? Purple, no, back. no. What? If you can go around, the, do you have to go around the roundabout? No, it's because there's cones on the roundabout. Right. It's still a roundabout. I know, but you know. Brit just asked me if I'm going to help. I think it's one Hoover, Brit. One Hoover. Thank you. And goodbye. The woman before us was in a proper strop like because we parked up as get well at the queue and beer. Like don't let us get stressed, do you know what I mean? Jesus. What 
Thanks for tea. A pineapple. Um, there she is. Did you get lost? The traffic's so bad at the roundabout. Which roundabout? How the fuck did I get here before you? I have no idea. Because I went. I left um, after Brit. You know the roundabout next to Tesco's. Uh huh. Not the Tesco one. The one, the big one. The one next to it's Tesco's. So busy, honestly. It's, really it's quite funny. We're in the car park, getting the car evaluated and all that. But there's a football match starting, so the car park's getting fuller and fuller. It looks like a dodgy deal, but it's concert. Oh, they look a lot like Nothing wrong here. What's the matter? I don't have a car anymore. You got nearly nine grand for it, didn't you? Oh, yeah. That, that can go in my pocket, though. <laughs> it pays off my finance, though, so. Buy car. Buy car. Buy Steel Town music. <laughs> Bye, Arnold. Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? <laughs> Hello on my phone. Um. I am down taking Hira for a walk. Going that way. <laughs> um, this is the road that we filmed the Bill Pop Moore's Nose music video for What's in That Tree. That's the tree, it's been decimated, it's been cut down. Also popped in in, uh, in memory of music video. But to see how vastly overgrown that is behind us, like to think that a full band once played there. Um, down the line, we we'll probably will have to revisit that music video because um, there's a bit where Ned let the firework loose and it just starts hitting the tree and like sort of like you know it's an air bomb going everywhere but one of the things that's hilariously funny is a van was just driving towards us and that road right there and there's a classic scene of me behind that tree and ned coming to see me <laughs> so yeah that was dog shit you know I'm picking up my dog shit. Someone didn't. Someone left a massive log and it hit Ned's windscreen. And you could just see Tracy pointing his wife, going, Look at that! And Ned's like, You know, but it's that tree there. That tree, and it would have probably been filmed just about there. But as I say, we'll get there by Reavers and that music video. This is just a short video as I take Hyra for a walk and take a trip down memory lane. But yeah, I've got to remember, it's better than fuck all. <laughs> And now he enters you. Oh, I've got a truck. And when I've got a truck, I just end assault cars. Car assaulter. Car assaulter?